Sheba. Summer's over for more students this morning. It is back to school day for three metro school districts. Marietta City Schools starting the year off with digital learning only. Walton County Schools welcoming back students in the classroom and virtually at home. Harrelson County is offering the same starting today. We have a full list of when all the schools across the metro are set to return and their reopening plans scrolling in the blue for you at the bottom of your screen right now. It is the second day of classes for Paul County schools face masks and social distancing are encouraged but not required. Chrissy Diaz live from her home in Fulton County. So Chrissy, even some students who wanted to stay away from school and learn online are being required to go despite their parents objections. Despite even that, and as you can imagine, it's causing a great deal of frustration with some parents who just don't feel comfortable sending their child to the classroom. We spoke with one parent, LaShonda Hambrick, who says she signed her child up for at-home online learning, but there's a waiting list for that, and her child is on it. A school system spokesperson confirmed to us that the students who are on the waiting list are required to be in school in the meantime. Now, about 30% of families in Paulding County opted for online learning from home, but there was no information when we asked about how many of them are currently on the waiting list. I was told that um, if my daughter wasn't there today, she would be withdrawn. I just think it's outrageous. North Paulding High sent a letter to parents telling them some members of the football team had tested positive and their children may have been exposed to COVID-19. I have also gotten some tips about cases at other schools. We are reaching out to the district to confirm that. Now, when we reached out to the district about online learning, the superintendent declined to comment or did not comment, but did release a statement saying that the students and teachers that he saw on the first day were wearing masks and encourages more widespread use across the district. She all right, Christy, thank you. And we asked our numbers team to take a closer look at the overall COVID-19 cases in those metro Atlanta counties that returned to school yesterday. And while the overall number of infections in Paulding are low, the county did post 58 new positive cases on Saturday, its highest number to date. In all, Paulding has had nearly 1,500 COVID cases. More than 100 people have gone to the hospital for care and nearly 20 people have died. After hitting a record high last week, Cherokee County is still reporting twice as many new cases each day compared to when the pandemic began. To date, Cherokee has had nearly 3,000 new cases. Nearly 300 have sought medical care and nearly 60 people have died. As for the state's numbers as a whole, we are continuing to trek downward. About 2,200 new cases were reported yesterday. That's a break from the record highs we were seeing about a week ago. Overall, that's good news with more districts heading back this week.